I believe Rich, who could not be with us here today, mentioned briefly in the FSR3 hands-on video that VSync should be enabled if you're using DLSS frame gen combined with VRR to avoid screen tearing. And this got me curious about which control panel options I should actually use for any given scenario, as it can vary greatly. This is a bit overwhelming for me, as many reports online often state different things in regards to VSync on or off, frame cap below screen refresh rate, frame pacing judder, etc. So the question is, can you guys make a short video talking about the most sensible or optimized GPU control panel settings to use for any given PC gaming scenario? Alex. Yeah, yes. Um, I want to, if I were to do a video like this, which I think is very realistic, uh, when I presume there's going to be a lull uh, either mid-November, well, probably not mid-November, but uh, as the new year starts, usually there's like a... Uh, I'll Elver. This is your episode with the bleeps. It's a fuck you. It's January kind of thing where um there's gonna be nothing to be releasing, and <laughs> there I can put out videos that are like a little bit more freeform. And I think this could go into a video that I've been having in my brain for a while now. That's called like VRR is not our savior. That's just like the the short title. Ooh. It's where like it's going about like yes, it's gonna explain what the technology is. I already have a video on VSync, but I, it's gonna explain what the technology is, what its limits are, why it only can do so many things like et cetera. And as part of this, we'll be talking about setting it up on both AMD and uh, Intel and Nvidia, I hope. Uh, I'd like this idea a lot, um, but the basic idea is that pretty much if you're gonna be using G-Sync, you should probably turn on V-Sync. There's no reason not to. Um, and then if you follow the, the guides out there, a lot of them will say to also limit the refresh rate below um, V-Sync so it's like if you have a 120 hertz panel, limit to like 116 on a per game basis or 117 on a per game basis. Um, do it like using RTSS, I would imagine, is the best way to do it or any other frame capper uh, below. You're not going to... VRR doesn't run into frame pacing issues. That's the one thing you have to think about. It. Frame pacing is a different thing entirely. It's something that happens as a result of V-Sync, right? So when people use the frame word frame pacing i don't think they're using it correctly vrr is actually a solver of frame pacing issues so um that's another thing judder you don't you shouldn't get judder at all if you're running vrr anyway so uh but i'll try and make a video like that i think as the new year's starting later you know when, when there's time <laughs> 